hello guys so today i have here a hp thin client t520 and i will be showing you guys how to install an operating system on it on your computer you go to google and in google you type hp thin update to download and when you type on that you come and you select this option that says how to download latest software so you come on the site and you you will see the list of uh, thin clients that is supported by this tool and uh, this is the one i'm gonna be working on right now hp t520 flexible thin client when you scroll down you come over here this piece is actually a 64 bit operating system, so I'll be using this. If your system is 32 bits, you would be making use of this. 32. All right. You have the release notes here, and then you have the software over here. So I'll be clicking on this. It pops up the box for to name the file I'm going to be saving. I'll leave it the same, and I click on save. And you go ahead and you run the file. And once you have it installed, you go to your apps and you run it. Most of the time it's going to be under HP. So you look for HP, the HP folder. And in the HT folder, you will see it there, HP thin update. You click on that, select yes and you run it. The option we're going to be selecting when we open this is this download a thin client recovery image to local storage or USB drive. So we select that. So it will give you the option to select the platform, the operating system, and uh, the target. Okay, so for the platform, you will be selecting the thin client. So in this case, we're going to be selecting T520. This is it, T520. Operating system, I actually want, um, I'm not going to be going with Windows 10. Let's see. I can go with uh, Thin Pro. I'll just go with the Thin Pro 7.1. And the destination is actually the USB drive okay so i have here my U usb drive i'll put it in okay just plugged in my usb drive for some reason this isn't showing up so i'll be using a different usb drive i have another one i have a 32 gigabytes usb drive and I'll be using this instead. So I bring it over here and plug it in. All right, so as you can see, it's instantly recognized. It's recognized on the computer. I just go ahead and I hit on create. Hit on yes. Okay, so I've just created the uh, Thin Pro, the Thin Pro 7.10. I've just created the Flash, and I'll go ahead to begin the installation. Let me set this to the side. Okay, so I'll be plugging this in into the Thin Client. So I plug this in. To the thin client i just plugged that in and i powered it I'll, I'll be powering it on and pressing on the f9 to give me the boot menu i power it on and i hit the f9 okay i think there's something wrong with my screen here i need to adjust it so i just fixed it it's showing properly now I'll be choosing the USB drive. I come here, USB flash drive, and I 
hit on enter I hit on the enter key so I wait for it to come up let me put it in such a way you guys are seeing it properly so it's trying to boot off the USB right now Okay, so it gives me this option to select an image operation mode. I type in one, which is image write mode, and I hit on enter. I press one, and I hit on enter. I type yes, and I hit on enter. So it begins to download the image. So I'll be giving it a while to do its thing. All right, so it's completed. Image operation complete. Press enter to return to main menu. I hit on enter and I press three to exit. Hit on enter. Please remove USB key and press enter. So I remove my USB. Take out my USB and I hit on enter. And here we are, Thin Pro. Continue setup. So I come over here, continue setup, English, keyboard, I hit on next. Select a network connection, the time and the date, I select that. I'll leave it as, as it is and I hit on next, all done. So there we are. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the video, kindly hit on the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will bring you more videos on this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.